What's up, YouTube? So I know I said I'm moving to a new channel and all that, but I'm still gonna use this channel. I'm just doing different kind of content on this on that channel, like vlogs. You know, like the you'll see on the channel, like the Danny Duncan's, the Balin Levines. I want to start making that kind of content, and I figured on this channel it'd be too late to do that because I've been doing these kind of videos on here for so long, like gaming shit so i'm still gonna do it i'm gonna i made my decision this is gonna be like my gaming kind of channel my geek channel i guess but mostly games because i know i used to do like movie reviews but i kind of moved away from that so today we're doing my first xbox one collection since i think it was 2018 or 2019 I don't remember somewhere there the last time I made an Xbox game collection, which, uh, no, it's growing a lot, uh, I'm watching Patty Mayo, but I'm doing this, I'm gonna do this collection real quick for you guys, and shit, last one got a lot of views, they always get a lot of views, so, you know, but I wanna show you guys off my new Xbox One collection, cause it's grown drastically. So first off, we got Call of Duty Cold War. Oh, they stuck together, but we got Rainbow Six Siege. And Star Wars Squadrons. Which Star Wars Squadrons, I really haven't played much. I haven't played a lot of these games, to be honest with you. A, because of storage, and B, because of time. Uh, Mafia Definitive Edition, I like Mafia games. <clears throat> but I haven't played this a lot, but I'm gonna get back into it and shit. You know the vibes. Oh, uh, World War Z, I actually just got this, like, Friday. It's Tuesday when I'm recording. This game is pretty fun. No, not last, the Friday before last Friday, because last Friday I picked up PS4 games. I picked up Saints Row the Third Remastered, which I love the original Saints Row 3. And I picked up uh, 2K21. So we got World War Z. Pretty fun game, I'm right? not going to lie. Uh, GTA 5, we all, no need explanation needed. Red Dead 2, I played this. I finished it on PS4, I believe, but I haven't really got too far on it on Xbox, which I should. Because Red Dead's really fucking fun. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I just started playing this, even though I got it for, like, Christmas in 2018. Like I told you guys, once I got one game, I just can't play others, because I was addicted to Cold War. Now I'm addicted to Madden 21, which is not in there, it's actually in this bag. Right here. I've been just playing the fuck out of Madden 21. To be honest with you, that's why you've been seeing my streams just Madden streams lately. But we got Shadow the Tomb Raider, and we got Cyberpunk. I tried playing it, but it was pretty fucking unplayable. Considering I have the original Xbox One, not even the Series X, which they say it runs horrible on the Series X. Imagine how it runs on the original Xbox One. Well, like not the very first. This is like. Pretty sure this is a low updated. Like this is the Halo edition, so came out like two years later. Uh, so now, the, like this is how I organize my game. Up here is where I put all my games that are downloaded on disc, and down here. But actually, I do have some downloaded games. Like I have man twenty downloads, so me and my uh, girlfriend can actually play that. I know. Uh, cause my PS, other PS4 controller doesn't work for some reason, I don't even know why, there's literally, if you take a look at it, there's literally nothing wrong with it, uh, is it this one, yeah, it's this one, it, see the light won't even come on, and you might be like, oh, the PS4 is not hooked up, if you think that, but look at that, and look at this, and I tried charging it many times, it's not that I even use the, like thing where you put it on the charging port and it charges for it. It don't work. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. I'm kind of <laughs> pissed off. Like literally take a look at it. It looks like there's nothing wrong with it, but just don't work. Uh, we got Bully, which is a really fun game. Avengers, I deleted it because of storage, but I'm probably going to re-download it. I, I need to get like 
like, I would say I should get an like, external hard drive for my Xbox One, but I might be getting a series. If I get a Series X, or if I get a PS5, I don't know. Uh, GTA 4, really underrated GTA. Probably the third best, in my opinion, after uh, 5. And, of course, the best ever. I still stand by it to this day. San Andreas is still the greatest GTA of all time. In my opinion, the greatest game of all time. You can actually go back to that video I made in 2016 saying GTA San Andreas is the greatest game of all time. And I still stand by that to this day. Dead Rising 2, really fun to play when you're bored. Borderlands 3, pretty fun. I actually think I had to delete that. Yeah, I did. Watch Dogs 2 is really fucking fun. I'm not. I love Watch Dogs. I have all of them. Uh, Gears 5, pretty fun. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Heard this game's really hard. I got a little bit into it, but. Oh, uh, yeah. Mortal Kombat 11. I don't have this downloaded, but I should re download it. I'm actually gonna right after this video, guys. Believe it or not. Alright, now let's move on to all the games I don't have downloaded. Or whatever. Uh, Modern Warfare. Oh, uh, that was actually a good COD, especially during quarantine. It really carried quarantine, especially Warzone. But I have it on my PS4, so I deleted it off Xbox. Uh, Black Ops 4, most disappointing COD ever. I remember even when everyone was trashing on this game before it came out, I still had hope for it. I thought it was going to be a good COD, even without the campaign. But guess what? It fucking wasn't, was it? World War II, pretty fucking underrated. But now I hear they're making uh, World War II 2 or Vanguard or whatever it's called. I'm just like, can we get out of the World War II era already? Like... We've had like five or six CODs based in World War II. Uh, I just think the World War II era is getting over like used and shit. But I heard it's supposed to be alternate history. So maybe it'll be cool. Infinite Warfare gets shit on. And I feel like it don't deserve it. Because it's actually, it has a great campaign. Underrated is Fuck Zombies. The multiplayer is eh. But Black Ops 3 probably my most played COD ever. Campaign was shit, but multiplayer and zombies were really fun. Despite what I said in 2016 about BO3 being shit. I was just mad. I sucked at BO3 at the time, so don't even listen to that. But I still stand by the... To this day, that the campaign in that is the fucking worst COD campaign I ever played. Like, this game's campaign was really fucking good. But this game's campaign was shit. Yeah, Advanced Warfare. I never finished the campaign on this, but it was decent. COD Go is one of the best campaigns in COD. Then we got Battlefield 1, which I remember the hype all this game had for a little bit, then it kind of died down. I don't know. I wonder if the servers are still alive. Oh, this is Halo 5. This is the thing that came with my xbox one and holy fuck i have not opened this shit in a while so i kind of forgot what was in here and there's a bunch of cool shit i need to zoom out the camera a little oh wait that's oh my god very unprofessional of me for a youtube video just to put you guys on the floor but we got Halo Wars 2. Halo Wars games are okay. They're underrated, but they're not worth $60. I don't know if this was even $60. Then we got Madden 20, which is a game I played. This Between this and Warzone, I played these two most during quarantine. And I played BO2. Uh, Hitman 2. Destiny the Taken King. Destiny 2. Doom. Dying Light cannot wait for the second one. I think that's coming out this year. I don't know if it's coming out this year or in 2022. I don't know, but either way, it's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, Crash, the Insane Trilogy. I raged at this a lot, uh, but if you played it, you'd understand why. Rocket League, uh, I have on disc, but for nothing because it's free on xbox now i got digitally and we got doom eternal which is pretty fucking fun i also played this during quarantine but not that much it was like 
it came out right at the beginning of quarantine, I think. I, yeah, I remember. It was like the first week of COVID. I got it at games. It was right before GameStop closed, too. Okay, so we got Lego Marvel. This is one of the best Lego games ever. Lego Dimensions, sad the potential this game had. But I never really got into it, but it just kind of died. The Lego movie game, I think I 100%ed that. Lego Avengers, I like this game. Lego Star Wars Force Awakens, I cannot wait for the Skywalker Saga. Uh, Ninjago, I didn't really play this much to be honest. Lego World is actually pretty fun. Uh, Lego DC Super Villains, I actually liked it. I beat that one, I remember. Just Cause 3 was so fucking fun. I actually did not beat on Xbox, but I beat on PS4 because it is free. And I got Just Cause 4, but I never beat that yet. But Evolve, uh, I don't really remember this game, to be honest with you. I got it like five years ago. LA Noir, pretty fucking underrated, but I haven't played in a while. I need a, like, I definitely need an external hard drive or something. Forza Horizon 3, Gears of War 4, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I don't think I ever even downloaded this. I don't think I ever put the disc of this game in my Xbox. Fallout 4, to be honest, I got bored of that, but I don't know. Uh, Far Cry 4, pretty fucking fun. Dead Rising, Far Cry Primal, actually, I might want to download this again, how much, it's only 25 gigabytes, I'm downloading this shit, Far Cry 5, really fun, Far Cry New Dawn was, it was okay, but, it was, I think, like, it got a little too much hate, then we got Halo Master Chief Collection, which, you know, in all honesty, how can you go wrong with that? It has all the fucking Halos in one game. And they still update it to this day too, which is funny. Like, it's been eight years now. Oh shit, I still have more games on top of here I didn't even realize. Black Flag, oh my god, this game is so fucking good. Uh, Syndicate was okay. I like the SEO collection. Odyssey, I haven't really played in a while. Arkham Knight, can never go wrong with Arkham game. This game died fucking faster than Fall Guys. If you think Fall Guys died fast, or Among Us died fast, you never heard of this game. And we got, uh, Battlefield 4. Which I can't wait for 6, Battlefield 6. That's about to be fire. Alright, so now we got Star Wars Battlefront. I used to be such a huge fanboy of this game, but looking back on it, I actually played it recently on my PS4. I reinstalled it, and I got bored really quick. There's not much shit to do in that game. But, however, Star Wars Battlefront 2, that game is really fucking fun. I grinded that, like, right before quarantine so much. That game was really fun. Oh, uh, we got Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. You know, which the it just feels so different from the original one. The original one just felt more fun. I don't know if it's that, but uh, the crew, Wild Run. Uh, I have both divisions here. And I have both of the Titanfalls here. Underrated games. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I remember this was the shit when I first got my Xbox. Trials Fusion, pretty fucking fun game. Quantum Break, I kind of forgot about it, but underrated is fucking Rage 2. It's pretty underrated. Uh, Sleeping Dogs, pretty fun. And Metro Redux, I don't remember playing this that much. Uh, what do I? FIFA 16 and Shadow of Mortar. Or however you say it. Then I got uh, Minecraft, Xbox One Edition, Minecraft Story Mode, and Story Mode Season 2. Uh, then I got NBA 2K15 and 2K17. Which I would download, but 60, you can't see, but 60 gigabytes. And yeah, is it worth 60 gigabytes just for an old 2K game when I just got 
2K21? I don't think so. And look at that. That's why I picked it up. Look at that deal. It was 60, but it was on sale for 20. So I was like, can't go wrong with this deal. But anyways, guys, that's actually going to be the end of this collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, share down your collections below. I'm curious or whatever. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And go subscribe to my new channel. Link in the description and pin comment down below. Alright guys, have a great rest of your night.